So Emmett, what did we do last weekend? Last weekend, Luke, we went to the Bridge Street Science Fair, oh. and uh, we were looking to learn from the masterminds of of Bridge Street about like some some science some to do. Some science stuff. Uh, so we did that. We did that. We went to Bridge Street School, mm -hmm. uh, and we had a grand old time. Uh, Emmett, what what were some of the projects that we saw there? So we got we got Griffin here, right? right. He loves rocks. He's Griffin's got a, really into rocks. He's That's really into rocks. He has a natural passion for rocks. Right. I appreciate uh, all the dedication you put in this section. This is the mineral section. Right. Okay. And rocks and minerals are two separate things, right? Rocks are made out of crystals and minerals. Oh, okay. I see. Now, what kind of what kind of rocks are these? These are very interesting. Oh, geo. I got them at a rock fair. Oh, that's very cool. And how all of these rocks? How did you collect them? I have a lot of rocks in my backyard, so usually I just randomly bring rocks in. So you have a natural passion for rocks. Yes. They're in my, the right next to my driveway. Look, that's a fossil. Second off, we got uh, we got some multitasking. Yeah, multitasking. Here, some watching his favorite TV shows. Did some uh, math problems while watching Barbie, my favorite thing to do. I love math. I love Barbie. Mm -hmm. To be able to do them at the same time was just a pleasure and a luxury. A dream come true for you. Yeah, dream come true. Ten people effectively multitask. All right, so do you think we could sort of jump in and ask this activity? Like, what, what is it? What are the rules? You know, how do you do it? Well, um, you have to do, like, do a sheet of math problems while watching a TV show, and then you have to do another sheet of math problems without watching the TV show. So you, your hypothesis was that people couldn't uh, multitask as well as they could just focus on one thing and, and do it do it well. Okay. So do you think we could we could try to do your your activity here? Sure. And uh, so is uh, these are these are your uh, these are your math sheets. And I assume that this is for uh, watching the TV show? Yeah. Okay. Scientific purposes only, Luke. Yeah, scientific purposes only. I think I think this one's got your name all over it, Luke. Oh, boy. Do I love Barbie. All right, so it looks like I got one more answer right than I did while I was watching Barbie. So it looks like your guys' experiment worked perfectly. One thing we did yes. was we looked at a survival bear. Exactly. And a survival bear, for those who don't know, is a bear, a, a teddy bear basically, designed for survival situations. So you bring this teddy bear out into the, the disaster world with you mm -hmm. and you can survive with ease. Our invention is a stuffed animal bear that has survival equipment and tools attached for any kind of catastrophe. We have made it possible for our kids to be prepared for any emergency by creating something that they will be attracted to and want to carry around. I am I mean, blown away at how prepared I would be carrying this bear around in any disastrous situation. I can't tell you how many situations I wish I had that bear. Right, me too. I could yeah. have saved my life countless times. Yeah, but unfortunately neither of us had that had that privilege, so no, no. we looked at some electricity. Yes, we did. We looked at electricity. We had potatoes, potatoes, lemons, lemons. We got batteries. Got batteries. All of them powering LED light bulbs, yeah. but like for, for separate amounts of time. So we tried to use potatoes, lemons, and batteries to power an LED light bulb. And it turns out that they all do, but in a certain amount, like they last in like a certain amount of time. As you can see, the lemons lasted 9 hours, 30 minutes. The potatoes lasted 10 hours, 11 minutes. And the batteries are still going. In 16 days. How many potatoes would it take for me to power my house, do you think? Uh, Probably 2,000. You know, you, you got to wonder why people are still using fossil fuels when you can just use potatoes exactly. or maybe lemons. Yeah. I mean, it, it would only take 2,000 potatoes for me to power my house. So. Exactly. So I, why not just go for it? It's way less that. expensive than a, exactly. a large hadron collider particle I cannon. I don't even know what that is. Me neither. <laughs> anyway, we're scientists.